Raise your hand if you love shopping for jeans, trousers, and skirts. Really? No one? No one? Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Do the bottoms you wear flatter your shape, make you feel confident? Here's why I'm asking. Shopping for pants, trousers, and even skirts can be a real big pain in the booty. And I get it. Our bodies have so many nuances and it's not always an easy task. But I'm confident that these styling tips and tools will make the decision process easier and maybe even fun. I've personally used them and they work. And so do my students because we want to love our bodies and we want to feel confident in what we wear. So here we go. Tip number one to dressing for a pear-shaped body type is to balance your figure with color and fitted pieces. Remember, lighter colors enhance and darker colors minimize. If you're bottom heavy, you want to create more volume on top, your upper body, by wearing lighter and brighter colors. Or if you're opting for a suit, using just one color with a slim cut piece will elongate and create a slim figure, so like monochromatic. And speaking of suits, a few pointers on jackets. You want your jacket length to be right above or below the widest point. Remember that rule of thirds. You also want your top end of jacket to be a little bit more structured in the shoulders just to balance out the larger bottom half. One of my best friends always opts for jackets with really cool detailing here on top, drawing attention to her shoulders and her upper body and her face. And she also belts her suits higher on the waist. Tip number two, think fit and flare. A full skirt, such as the one that I'm wearing, is the classic recommendation for the bottom heavy figure. It's still a great option, especially for dresses. And how to make the full skirt work? Well, you wanna make sure that it fits nice and tight on the waist and drawing attention to the waist and then it flares out like my skirt is doing, creating that hourglass silhouette. The only thing you wanna watch out for is the fabric in the flare because if your fabric is too heavy, it going, it's going to bunch up too much and make you look more heavy. And on the flip side, you also want to watch out for fabrics that are super tight and clingy because that's also not as flattering. So you just wanna have something draping, nice and fitted around the waist and then flares out. Tip number three, find jeans that flatter. Yes, I know that sounds super obvious and easier said than done. So here's how to do it. Boot cut leg openings are the most flattering jean legs of all. That slight flare balances out wider hips and fuller thighs. Also, the longer the jeans, the longer and thinner your legs look. So if you can stand them, pair jeans with high heels or wedge or boot for a super flattering look. And here's an additional tip. Have a pair of jeans that you wear with higher heels or boots and shorter pair to wear with flats because that bunching on the, on the bottom and you know when you wear it with flats, just avoid it altogether. Okay, so the next step is put prints on your smallest feature. So basically the opposite of what I'm wearing because here what I have is flare, but say you didn't wear flare, then you wanted to bring the prints up on top. So stripes, plaid, florals, polka dots, they all draw attention and you want them drawn attention up here to the bottom. So say again, you're wearing something fitted, then you want the print to be up on top and darker colors on the bottom. Tip number five, go for an empire waist. If your natural waistline is thick, long with full hips and thighs, one of your best options is dresses and tops with an empire waist. So with this silhouette, the focus is shifted to only the top third part of your body because the waist falls right below the bust line. You can also create this look with loose tops and then just belting them right below your bust line. For tip number six, pick a pretty neckline. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that my friend Kim does is she picks up like really cute, unique necklines right here in her drawing attention to her upper body. So maybe a unique necklace, like I'm wearing a sweetheart neckline or a halter off the shoulder, or maybe like big, cool earrings as well. So you want to draw the attention to the upper body and to your face. For tip number seven, use color blocking. As basic as the sounds, the best way to use color to camouflage and highlight figure areas is to use contrast. My fitness instructor actually does this. She has a beautiful pear-shaped body and she wears tops that contrast. So she, has, she uses white on top and then it cuts with a color block and black on the bottom. 
very figure flattering. Okay, so now I wanna hear from you. What's your go-to styling sec secret for dressing your fabulous pear shape? Leave a comment for me below and let me know. And if you found value in this video, like it and share it with a friend. And remember, style has power. Use it to inspire, empower, and to be remembered. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Auto Style Minute.